Hey, what's going on guys? How y'all doing? And today we're going to be comparing the LG Stylo 6 against the Alcatel 3V. Make sure you hit the bell icon and get notified for all future videos. If you're new, join the crew and subscribe and get notified. So the LG Stylo 6 has the newest budget phone from Metro by T-Mobile. This is a budget phone not meant to stack up against phones like Note series or even the G lineup. The, the Stylo series has always been a budget device and the latest budget device that has came out also from Metro by T-Mobile is the Alcatel 3V as well. Now these two behemoths are huge as far as screen ratio and body. As you can see, both have really huge displays. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in the displays of both of these devices. Maybe you're a big screen lover like myself. I, I love these huge displays. I love what they have to offer, but there's some things you may want to note before you're picking one up or switching from one or the other. Now, the first thing we have to talk about when we're uh, comparing both of these devices is the actual overall build quality. Now, holding both of them in my hand, the LG Stylo 6 definitely feels like the heavier device. It's a little bit more uh, chunky. It ha it's a little bit more taller and it's a little bit more narrow. Now, the Alcatel 3V is a wider device. When you look at the screen, it's a wider panel, but it's a little bit shorter. So you're getting a little bit more screen to body ratio when you look at the LG Stylo 6, something to keep in mind, whereas you're getting a near bezel-less design with chin and forehead on the Alcatel 3V. So basically what you're getting on the Alcatel 3 is a 6.7 inch with three gigabytes of RAM and a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. On the LG Stylo 6, you're actually getting three gigabytes of RAM as well, a 6.8 inch screen as well, and 4,000 milliamp hour battery with three gigabytes of RAM as well. Now you're getting the P, the Helio P35 processing chip on the LG Stylo 6, and on the Alcatel 3V, you're getting the Helio P22, a more sufficient, a more efficient um, chip in my opinion, but. The P35 is actually powerful enough. It just needs one more gigabyte of RAM to compete with the P22, which where, where this chip can actually perform really well only on three gigabytes of RAM. And that's all it needs. Whereas the P35 would be much more sufficient and powerful with another gigabyte of RAM, four gigabytes. However, when it comes to the displays on both devices, you're getting a 1080p display on the LG Stylo 6, whereas you're getting a, a, a 1080, you're getting a 720 display on the Alcatel 3V. So uh, you're, when it comes to the pixel per inch ratio and density, we're getting 250 pixels per inch on the Alcatel 3V and we're getting 395 on the LG Stylo 6. So we're getting a lot more pixels per inch, higher density screen display as well. Also, they're both IPS display panels as well. And honestly, uh, you know, the chipsets are both 12 nanometer processing chips, meaning that they're gonna both perform in a, in a similar fashion. So there's nothing gonna be too crazy over the other. They're both gonna pretty much perform tasks similarly and get to your destination of where you wanna go uh, pretty pretty equally now as far as the camera setups that we have going on we have a triple camera setup on the LG Stylo 6 which is actually a 13 megapixel a 5 megapixel and a 5 megapixel so there's an ultra wide on here and there's also a depth sensor and the main one is a wide angle paired with an ultra wide angle where you can customize your 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 video to meet those focal angles, which is really cool. Now, you're getting a 16 megapixel on the back of the Alcatel 3V, which is actually really nice. Uh, and you're also getting a five megapixel depth sensor along with it, which is really good for portraits on the front and rear. And um, if the only thing that's missing verse on this one versus the LG Stylo 6 is it doesn't have the ultra wide angle. So the Ultra 6 did, the LG Stylo 6 did add that ultra wide angle. You are getting some fingerprint sensors 
on on both devices and they both perform really fast however the i, I believe the alcatels will be a little bit quicker as you can see uh, you can even include on body detection on both devices but the alcatel 3v will actually have facial recognition as well so just keep that in mind you'll be able to get facial recognition on the alcatel 3v on the body of the LG Stylo 6, there's a dedicated Google Assistant button, which I find really nice and really, uh, really good. Because if you want to ask it something in, 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 in the blink of an eye, it can it can get to you can ask it anything you want to by hitting that button. And what's today's weather like? And uh, let me just repeat that. What's today's weather like? Today in the Bronx, there'll be scattered thunderstorms with a forecasted high of 90 and a low of 70. It's currently 89 degrees and sunny. All right, so I think that's really cool to get the information quickly. I feel like that's something that's really, really notable on the LG Stylo 6 this time. It's, it's kind of like the Bixby button for the Samsung, except Google's way more power well actually just more more smarter as a all together now as far as the storage departments on both devices we are getting more storage on the L lg stylo 6 we're getting 64 45 out of the box now on the alcatel 3v we're getting uh 32 gigabytes of internal storage on here and you know both of the devices have type c charging as well as 4000 milliamp hour batteries now, this is the thing that differentiates the LG Stylo 5 from the Alcatel 3V is that the LG Stylo, I'm sorry, the LG Stylo 6 has, not 5, has uh, Bluetooth 5.0. So the, LG, the LG Stylo 6 has Bluetooth 5.0, whereas the Alcatel 3V has Bluetooth 4.2. So you're, you're gonna get a much more um, better Bluetooth connection when you're listening to wireless earphones for example, it's just because it's got a better technology built right in. Now the LG Stylo 6 is actually priced around <clears throat> less like 200, it should be priced at $200. You can get it for just under $200 on the Metro prepaid phone carrier. Um, so if you, if you do a deal with them, you can get it for much cheaper than that, but prices will always vary. However, these devices are meant to be under $200 as they are both in the budget territory. So when my final thoughts on both of these devices is that if you're looking for an extra uh, angle in the, in the camera, that ultra wide angle will definitely come in handy on the LG Stylo 6. However, the, the performance of the P35 and the P22 is relatively similar, but the P22 is a little bit more um, sufficient when it comes to overall performance and battery. So that mean, meaning you'll get more battery out of the P22 versus the uh, P35, even though they have the same battery inside of it. And because of the display on here, 720, it's gonna be more power uh, efficient as well. Now, headphone jacks are apparent on both devices and you get an IR blaster on the Alcatel 3B 2019, meaning that you can change the channels wherever you're at if you're in the laundry mat you can change the channel if you're in the diner and you want to watch espn watch some of the highlights you can do that now we can't do that with the lg stylo 6 because it doesn't have ar ir blaster so i think that's pretty cool that this has the ir blaster as well um, my final thoughts and opinions are if you were looking for a wider phone to fit in the hand the alcatel 3v has that wider aspect ratio you can't even reach across it and close your, your, your middle finger and your thumb. Whereas the LG Stylo 6 is a much more narrow phone. I could put my hand all the way around it and it's gonna be a little bit taller, but that's pretty much what you need to note is that if you, this is gonna be easy for texting with one hand cause you can wrap your hand all the way around the phone and touch the buttons. This one has a nice one-handed operation mode if you're in the phone and you wanna actually type with one hand. It does give you the ability to do so. All you have to do is literally swipe across and you got that small screen. So they both figured out nice different ways to mess around with the text messaging. 
honestly uh if you prefer the wider one i know what you mean i like wide phones but i also like this narrow aspect ratio as well let me know in the comment section down below which one you prefer more which one you think is better you're also getting android 10 on here versus the android 9 so a newer software but i just got the june software update on this uh, alcatel 3v so it's on the latest security of uh june which is really cool so if i go into security and stuff like that you'll notice that we will be up to date with uh, a security of june 5th on um 2020. so it's really nice to see that alcatel 3v has been updating their software with metro by t-mobile and um this is the comparison of the lg stylo 6 versus the alcatel 3v let me know your comments down below which one would you prefer overall now i know this has the newer software and this has the older one but besides that both will perform really well and honestly if this got android 10 it might be better than the lg stylo uh, 6 but that's to be debated we also got the pen on the lg stylo 6 which is actually the difference maker for a lot of people now this might be the, the deal breaker is the pen you might want to use that for added benefits of your own liking maybe you want to take some notes um stylo six and uh yeah this is a this is an, a, a really badass feature uh this phone is also really good for just um you know reading books and stuff like that just the aspect ratio is really good when you flip it this way it's really good for that that that, that content uh absorption and the same deal with the Alcatel 3V. They're both really, they're content um, absorption phones, meaning that they're meant to um, watch content on. And um, the batteries on these are really good. Let me know down below which one you prefer in the comment section down below. And thank you for watching. It's your boy Serrano. This is my final thoughts. The LG Stylo 6 is a phone for people who want to, um, actually have more productivity and who actually use the pen if you don't use the pen get the alcatel 3v uh uh off 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 just alone you're not going to use the pen so you i'll get the alcatel 3v because it's going to be um a little bit more quicker if you don't use the pen you don't have to worry about even thinking about it ever and it's, it's just going to be something that you have to think about whereas people who naturally use the pen like artists um people who 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 are budget people who like to be budget conscious and um you know take down notes may, maybe have ideas maybe you're an artist you might write lyrics that's something that this phone is good for but other than that the alcatel 3v is probably the better device if you're not doing those things so let me know down below what you think all together but it's your boy serrano thank you for staying locked in with me i appreciate you guys 100 percent and i'll check you guys later but make sure you guys hit the bell icon show your support and appreciation and i'll see you guys on the next video but in the meantime have a great morning afternoon evening and depending on where you are have a great night peace and i'll see you right after this